The thermal conductivity of a brick wall is 0.8 watts per meter Kelvin. The thermal conductivity of wood is 0.1 watts per meter Kelvin. If we wish to replace a 20 centimeter thick brick wall with a solid wooden wall while keeping the same wall area, the same temperature difference across the walls, and the same rate of heat flow through the walls, how thick should the wooden wall be? The rate at which heat is transferred through conduction is the thermal conductivity times the contact area times the temperature difference across the material divided by the thickness of the material. Now we expect the rate of heat flow to be a constant. The wall area to be the same and the temperature difference across the wall to be the same. So K divided by L has to be a constant. So K divided by L should be a constant, which means K1 over L1 should equal to K2 over L2. Let's say 1 is the brick. The K is 0.8. The thickness of the brick wall is 20 centimeters. The wood has a K that's 0.1, and how thick do we need the wall to be? You will find the L2 to be 2.5 centimeters. It's centimeters because we use the centimeters for L1. So when we find L2, that also has to be in centimeters. So the answer is D. A heat engine operates between 500 degrees Celsius and 200 degrees Celsius. The power input to the engine is 8,000 watts. What is the maximum possible rate at which this engine can do work? For the maximum possible rate at which this engine does work, we need to look at the maximum possible efficiency for the heat engine, which means the ideal efficiency or Carnot efficiency. This is supposed to be the high temperature minus the low temperature divided by the high temperature. And the temperatures have to be in kelvins. So, the high temperature would be 500 plus 273. And then the low temperature should be 200 plus 273. But of course, if you're just looking for the difference, the 273 would just cancel. But down here, it must be 500 plus 273. And so this is the maximum efficiency. And by definition, the efficiency of a heat engine is also the work output divided by the energy input, which means QH. So W over QH is also the efficiency. And this part here, we have 300 divided by 773. We are given that the power input to the engine is 8,000 watts. That means if I look at the one second, that means uh, the energy input is 8,000 joules per second. So the QH, the energy input, is uh, 8,000 joules. And we want to find the work. So the W can be found as uh, about 3,100 joules. And since we were looking at one second, that means this is 3,100 joules per second. So it's 3,100 watts. The answer is B. On the AP exam, we are not allowed to use a calculator for the multiple choice section. Let's see how we can still pick the right answer in this case. When we get to here, we can cross multiply and solve for W. So when we cross multiply, we get 300 times 8,000 equals to 773 times W. Now, this is almost 800. So we can divide it by 773 on both sides. And this will give us about 10, slightly more than 10. 
but it's about ten. That means W would equal to three hundred times a number that is slightly more than ten, which will give us B.